Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. And I just wanted to contribute a few points to this particular part of the debate and remind uh, our honorable colleagues, um, many of whom weren't here yet at uh, the particular time that this innovation actually started by uh, Senator Carignan when he was the opposition leader in the Senate. And the original reason actually for ministers' question period in the Senate arose because for the first five months of the Trudeau government, there was no government leader in the Senate. There was no one to have question period with. And that very important factor of accountability in, this, in the other chamber of parliament, not just the House of Commons, but also uh, the Senate, could not happen without anybody to ask questions of. So that was why the original innovation occurred. And initially, the opposition Senate leader, how it went for the first probably year and a half or two years, was that the opposition Senate leader provided the government with a list of a few ministers, um, uh, which the opposition wanted to hear from in ministers' question period, and then arrangements were made to have those particular ministers appear in the next few weeks. And that went quite well. Then, unfortunately, this process morphed for the last two years for the last parliament to a process where the Trudeau government leader told the opposition which ministers would come to ministerial question period over the course of the next six or seven weeks. Minister so-and-so on this week, you know, morphing from a period of six or seven weeks. So by that per period of time, you were really no longer able to discern what might be topical um, uh, issues for that period of time and it really took away the very principle of question period which is supposed to be the question period is supposed to be an accountability session for the government and is supposed to be on demand without notice now by s simply virtue of uh, having some notice provided to the government so they can ensure availability of ministers that allowed the government some notice but a reasonable period of notice perhaps a week or two not six and uh, not a period of time where the government is telling the opposition who is going to come to question period. That is not acceptable. That is simply yet another way that the Trudeau government is trying to silence opposition and ensure that we can't do our proper jobs to get accountability and to represent our regions. Um, so earlier today, Senator Gold indicated that there was this collaborative, consensus-based approach by the government leader in the Senate, and I think what I've just explained casts doubt on that. So I submit that the process outlined by Senator Gold in his Trudeau government sub-amendment gets so far away from that accountability um, process and also the fact that it's supposed to be on demand without notice. That is what we need to have. That is what I think Senator Husakos' motion gets closer to. Thank you very much.